Hello everybody, XNJ here. Now recently a lot of you have been asking me about my custom fonts, so in today's video I'll be showing you exactly how to get them. Now the first thing that you'll see in this video's description is a link to a piece of software that's essential in stuff like this called Open4. After downloading and installing it, you'll have to open it, hit Windows, wait for it to load, go to search bar, type in font underscore lib underscore efigs underscore pc hit search in all archives we will see here is a lot of files open the first one drag this onto your desktop in my case i already have it ready here then minimize open for you can close this now the second link you'll find in the description of this video is a link to another piece of software called ffdeck after successfully downloading and installing that open it what you will see is this, hit open, select your font file, hit fonts, and what you will see is this. Now only replace number 9, number 7, number 6, number 4, number 3, number 2. Don't touch the other ones. You will also need to download your desired font in .ttf format. Open the file, hit install, make sure it's installed to your PC, then you can close this. So. I suggest you do this from the bottom, hit the first one, number 9, hit embed on the right side, hit all characters, select the desired font file, hit ok, hit the yes to all and just wait, hit the yes here and do this for all the other ones. Now, after you've done all of this, you hit save. You can close this window. Now, after you've done that, open Open4 again. Go to ASM Manager, which is right here. Install these two. A window will pop up. Just hit yes. Don't touch anything else. Close this for now. Mods folder will appear. I already have it because I have some stuff installed. Open it. Hit F6. Hit yes, go to your games directory, find the update file, drag it into here, drop it, then go to search again, again type in font underscore lib underscore efigs underscore pc, hit search in all archives, now you have these two that are highlighted in blue, open this one, with edit mode on, drag and drop it in here. Now, if you've done everything correctly, you'll see the size change. I already have my font replaced, so I will leave it like this. After this, you will need to uninstall your ASIs, hit the third link in the description, and download the bypass archive. So after you've downloaded, don't extract it just yet. Open your antivirus, hit virus and threat protections, manage settings, turn off real-time protection, and don't close this window. After that, extract the files onto your desktop, reopen Open4, select them and drag and drop them in the main game directory. After this, what you'll have to do is scroll down, exclusions, hit add or remove exclusions, hit add an exclusion, folder, go to your games directory, take one step back until you see Grand Theft Auto V and select the folder. After that, go back to home and hit turn on. So now you have the bypass files in. So that's it. As easy as that. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. Peace.